My name is William Perkinson, and I'm here to talk to you about how ice makers work. Most of us never think about it until we push the button and ice doesn't come out, typically right before a party or an outing or when you're cooking in the backyard. Remember your grandmother? She had the trays in the refrigerator. She would, you would open the, or actually the freezer, you'd open the freezer and they'd be sitting on a shelf and you'd have to pull them out and twist them and pop the ice out and then refill them. Well, nowadays, the freezer does it for you. It's all powered by the same plug that the refrigerator uses. It's powered by, it gets its water from the same water line that, that, the, that you get the water from the door. Uh, and it has basically the same tray as Granny used to have. The water comes in through, a, through the pipe, through the, its filtered water, into the mold. It freezes. The freezer knows. It has a temperature uh, monitor that knows when it's frozen. And then the cool thing is, in your freezer, it has a heating element that heats that tray up just enough for the ice to break loose. It breaks loose, an ejector arm scoops it out of the tray, drops it down a chute into the bin, which stores the ice, which allows you and me to put our cup and out comes the ice. The bin, different size for different refrigerators, but it looks about like this. When it's working properly, it should be full. I'm William Perkinson, and that's how ice makers work.